Today on the agenda, we are going to be working on this 2003 Harley Davidson Edition F-150. Um, a little bit more in detail on that. We're going to be changing out the mass airflow sensor and putting in a SCT 2600. Uh, it's a big air 2600 and it's this right here. First things first, we need to open the hood. There we go. Now, let's see if we can shine some light on the situation here. Oh yeah, I'd say so. All right, now, this is your stock mass airflow sensor. Uh, it's upside down, but it says airflow this direction, obviously. What we will have to do is take this hose clamp off, take this air filter off, and then remove the actual and original mass airflow sensor. It's not that bad of a job. Once we get the hardware switched out, then comes the fun part. As it sits right now, I have the tune downloaded onto this uh, Panasonic Toughbook. We will be using a combination of SCT Advantage 3 right there, and we'll also be using SCT Live Link. There we go. So, we'll be transferring the flash file to the SCT Livewire touchscreen unit, which is right here. After we do that, we will then flash the actual truck so it will read the new mass airflow sensor. Uh, it's pretty much plug and play. So first things first, like I said, we'll do the hardware. After we change the hardware, then we'll go in do the software and then flash it onto the actual truck. All right, well, let's get rolling. Okay. There's the air filter off. Go ahead and disconnect. Mass air flow sensor. Okay. Okay. So here's the old mass air flow. I'm just going to take those off. Do the old switcheroo. Air filter's back in place. Uh, okay, so now that we have it in, everything bolted in the way it should be. Uh, but the last thing, last order of business here, is simply to plug up the mass airflow sensor. Click, and we're good. Okay, so that is literally it as far as hardware changes. We're gonna move inside the truck and we will go to doing the software side of things. After we get it transferred to the programmer, we will then flash the truck. So I'm gonna show you every step of the way, just in case you're interested in doing it yourself. It's really, it's not that hard at all. Um, okay, so we got all of the uh, hardware parts exchanged in the engine. We got the new SCT Big Air 2600 mass airflow sensor installed. Now that that's done, it is on to the software side of the installation. The parameters will be different and the readings will be different. So if we were to run this new uh, mass airflow sensor without changing the tune and the corresponding parameters, the truck would barely run if it would run at all. And you would be at risk of detonation 
and all other kinds of fantastic things you never want to have happen. So the first thing we're going to do is take this laptop, hook it up to this programmer right there with this USB cord. Boom. Oh, flip it. Now we're in. All right. Go ahead and open up SCT Advantage Base Tune. Let's see. So here on this side of SCT Advantage, here are all are our editable and changeable parameters. All kinds of stuff here. All right. So here. You see. This is the mass airflow. There we go. Okay, I did remove the rear oxygen sensors on here, so I'm going to put no rear O2 base tune. There we go. So now I click program device, and you can see it is a stock EK02. The EK02 is my ECM processor code. So that is the only one that is on my device. Uh, I believe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it'll hold ten custom tunes. So, what we're going to do? We're going to add in mine. Base. No. O two. We're going to program this with options so I can change anything on the actual live wire touchscreen device if I want to. You can either do it with options, without options. We're going to go with. And here we go. Here are the options that we can choose to include. Now, if you're programming this for your own uh, personal use, by all means, do whatever you want, um, as long as you know what you're doing. But if you're doing this for a customer or for somebody else, uh, I caution you against leaving a bunch of this wide open. Too much stuff can happen. Okay. So it is processing, and now it's writing. Okay, it is now on the device. So the only thing to do now is to actually open, open it up and flash it to the actual truck ECM. I'm gonna minimize that. Unplug the USB cable from the device go ahead and shut this for the time being okay well we just got the tune uh, written to or flashed to the uh, SCT touchscreen or excuse me the SCT live wire touchscreen unit now we need to flash it to the actual ECM of the truck and to do that we're going to turn the ignition on Okay, so we're going to go to run or on. Okay. 
go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We are going to go to program vehicle now. Okay, continue. Okay, now here we go. I named it Base No 02. There it is right there under available custom tunes. And as you can see, stock EK02 and the one that we just wrote. Base EK02, or <laughs> sorry, the one we just wrote uh, to the device. And that is Base No 02 for no O2 sensors in the rear. Now I'm going to select that one and it will now present us with all the tune options. And here we go. These are the editable and customizable options that we selected in SCT Advantage. Um, and as you can see here, everything is stock as it is set right now. Rev limit 5600 RPM in drive, rev limit neutral. 5400 RPM. Idle speed drive, 600 RPM. Idle speed neutral, 700 RPMs. Wide open throttle, spark, uh, zero. And now our shifts, our wide, wide open throttle shifts. This will be from first to second. It doesn't have anything added or subtracted. Uh, two to three and three to four. Now your shift pressure. I am running a Punisher uh, valve body on the transmission, and it is 100% inadvisable to run any difference on the shift pressure here because uh, it is firm as it is, and they even tell you in the paperwork that comes with the kit, don't add anything to it. So we're not going to do that. Now, wide open throttle shift, I am going to change the speed at which it shifts because it's it's fairly uh, it's fairly safe from the factory I'm not going unsafe you can go all the way seven miles an hour higher but you'd be in the rev limiter by then I'm just gonna go three miles an hour uh, for second to third and for first to second I'm just gonna go two uh, third to fourth it is the killer because they had it short shift and I'm going to do four on it. Okay, I'm going to prove those. It'll change that. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to program it. Okay, so this is a pretty cool little thing. It says turn the key off, so obviously that's what we're going to do. Now, it instantly says, turn the key back on. And, bam. Whenever you see dash, 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 however many dashes, that's when the ECM is being programmed, okay? And you'll usually see the theft deterrent start flashing, as it is now. It ought to go without saying but don't turn the ignition key off or disconnect the device because that that would no just just don't that would literally well i don't know if it would 100 percent guaranteed brick your ecm but you're literally playing with fire okay right now it's saving the vehicle stock data Preparing the data. Now it's writing the tune that we want on there with the additional options we chose, which in this case are the higher uh, mile per hour limits on these shifts.
Okay, almost done writing the ECM tune data. Then it ought to go to, let's see, it's clearing any DTCs, which are diagnostic trouble codes. Bam, it is done. So now we're going to cut the ignition off. And I'm going to hit done here. Now I'm going to turn the ignition back on and it ought to come up as normal. Yep, everything's fine. Now, here I'm going to go to gauges and data log. And it will start to display all of the selected parameters that I have chosen to be displayed. Okay. We have our intake air temp, 54 degrees, sounds about right. Uh, let's see. We're just going to be watching the mass airflow count when we do crank it. All right. It is now time for the proverbial go time. We're going to crank it up and see if we got everything right with programming. Here we go. Mass air flute counts are perfect. Voltage is fine. All right. Thankfully, we have no check engine lights. Go ahead and turn uh, the lights on so we can see everything here. Everything is looking good on the live wire. Yes, I do realize the truck is dirtier than homemade sin. Yes, and I do hear the exhaust leak. Okay. No check engine light. Everything is good. Everything is copacetic across the board. Now, the only real way to check things is by cutting the ignition off completely. And starting it again. And it's good. It is golden.
Fantastic. Here we have it. All right, YouTube. Like I said, my channel name is that guy on YouTube, and I am that guy. Uh, so we successfully installed the SCT Big Air 2600 mass airflow sensor, meter, whatever you want to call it, on the O3 Harley. We have no check engine lights, so everything is copacetic across the board. All right. You did good, girl. You did good. Bam. The next fun bit will be taking this to Pro Dono in Fort Mill and getting this bad boy on the rollers and getting it truly dialed in and see exactly what we are putting down.